because if you're gonna move with Kendrick, you gotta move like Kendrick. He united the whole city mm -hmm. based off of him being a king. Kendrick Lamar is not like us, is breaking and shattering more records. YG leads a peace walk preaching gang unity in Compton. It's a good day in Bompton. <laughs> it may not be dressed up in suits and whatnot, but it starts with things like this, and it didn't take somebody dying. DIY. DIYers. Well, I guess they wouldn't be DIYers. OV hoers. So many of you ask me, hey, man, what's up with the excessive Drake stories? Is it becoming an obsession of yours, Curtis? No, it's just because he could not sat down. I said that right. He could not sat down. But you know who has been very calm and quiet and collected through this whole process? A certain Kendrick Lamar. That same Kendrick Lamar, ironically, is still breaking records with the song Not Like Us. Yeah, the song, I know, I know, I know. You're sick and tired of it. You heard it everywhere. That's what a hit song's called. It hit a little different. It hit a little different. What you're experiencing is what it would look like in another era to have a hit song if they had social media. Hit songs have already, of course, hit songs, especially in hip hop, have been abundant. Not of the last few years, right? There's been some drop off, but we've seen hit songs, songs that became a cultural phenomenon. You down with OBB? Yeah, you know me? Of those sorts and whatnot. Baby got back. We've seen it, but not quite what it's like when it has gasoline draws on called the internet. Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us is breaking and shattering more records on the streaming charts specifically. On this account called Kendrick Lamar Updates, where you get a lot of Kendrick Lamar updates, someone brought this to my attention. Not Like Us is now the eighth most streamed rap song released this decade on US Spotify chart, surpassing, ironically, Drake and 21 Savage, Knife Talk. Oh. I thought you guys said the song was gonna die off before the summer did. What happened? You guys said, some of you OVRs, some of you OVRs said this song was not gonna last through the summer. People weren't gonna care about it. It was a moment and people to move on. And that's what you said. It gets worse. Don't come here if you hate Kendrick Lamar cause it's only gonna get worse. Check this out. Another update by Kendrick Lamar updates. Not like us on the Billboard Hot 100 charts is still going on a run. This is the week by week standings that it has been. First week, number one. Second week, two. Third week, two. Fourth week, two. Fifth week, five. Six week, six. Six. Three, three, one, three, 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 three. They're like lottery numbers. That shit is insane. It has been 15 weeks in total. 15 weeks in total at top 10, 13 weeks at top five, and it's still charting, yikes. Somebody gonna have to tell the truth and I'm gonna tell it. Say bro, should've left that nigga alone. That's insane, that is insane. So shout out to Kendrick Lamar, man. This, this is obviously, it's only gonna get worse from here because yet we've seen all the viral videos. We have not even gotten to award season yet. And to watch this man win awards and sit on the sideline like Kawhi Leonard, like he's uninterested, is going to be the funniest thing in the world. Award season's not even here! <laughs> Shout out to the OGs, Snoop, and of course Dr. Dre, who sat down with Complex to discuss not only the project coming out by Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre, but also the significance, the cultural significance that Not Like Us is still having, the ripple effect it has had on our region, as well as hip hop at large. Check this out. So obviously being from Compton, I have to ask you a couple of questions about Compton and the Not Like Us video and everything that went down. Vince Staples recently did an interview where he said that it's always been unified. Like gangs have always looked out for each other and now we're just seeing it on camera. Would you say that that's true? Well, I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I think Kendrick was able to bring that together for that moment. Hopefully that moment can move forward. I'm not sure if that's gonna be possible or not because it's gonna take just more than just one event to get that accomplished. Sure. Once it's done, everybody goes home to their home teams. Right. And then but this back. feels different a little bit, no? It does feel different, but hopefully it can continue. I'll say this, I'll say what Vince is saying is that a lot of neighborhoods have been uniting for a long time behind right. closed doors but what Kendrick did was he united the whole city mm -hmm. based off of him being a king taking this violent situation which is a rap beef and creating peace and giving the homies the opportunity to come on stage to engage in his video mm. to be a part of his movement and to also move like he moves 
because if you're gonna move with Kendrick, you gotta move like Kendrick. He's about peace, he's about love. He ain't from no gang, he's from a city full of gangs and he unites cities. So that's what this was about. So it's a good move for the whole, you know, West Coast culture as far as rap is concerned because violence has always been the lead thing for us on our side. So if you could take a violent rap or a violent song and create peace out of it, he should be commended for that. <laughs> Oh, to be a West Coast artist, to be a West Coast hip hop enthusiast, to be somebody that just lives on the West Coast. It's finally our time again. Oh, it's our time again. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love that both of them have opposing views on this that uh, may not be aggressively opposing, but it's still, still. Both of them uh, are, are coming from, from points of views in which they recognize that something different is happening here. Huh. I heard a rapper made a diss song about me when I was asleep But he ain't even had a decency to say we got beef The homie hit my line like, just peep Before I could reply, he sent a YouTube link I listened to that whole ass song and how sweet This nigga wrote an angry poem on an ugly ass beat I swore the last time that we talked it was all peace But success got a way of exposing what's underneath I hit this nigga on his Facebook and put him on the spot Like, do we really got an issue or do you need to clout? He said he heard a song that I made and without a doubt he could have swore that I mentioned his name and called him out Bruh, but I can see through the drama, let's be honest I know you lost your drive and need me for some hydraulics I know you want your limelight to be a little brighter You told me keep it hip-hop and I told you keep your trauma And uh, speaking of the ripple effect that continues to happen out here Because I say I'm from out here from the West Coast, I'm out here in California, Southern Cali I don't know if you guys saw this, but down in Compton, YG and the game brought together a peace walk. It says here on Best Point of View TV, YG's gang, Fruit Town Pyru, and G Uno gang, Treetop Pyru, put together a peace walk in Compton yesterday to end a 10 year gang rivalry between the gangs. The game and many other were spotted walking in the peace walk. Man, shout out to that one time. You love to see it. 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 Let me play this clip real quick. Crazy. It's probably folks in their lifetime thought they never see something of the sort. Man, let me go back here to this article on Billboard that kind of breaks down even some more details about it. Uh, but it says YG leads a peace walk preaching gang unity in Compton. It's a good day in Bompton. <laughs> Kenny Lamar had rival Los Angeles gangs on stage when I'm at the pop out concert in June. And YG looks to continue spreading that same message of unity across California. YG spent his Sunday, August 18th, brokering the start of a truce between rival gangs, treetop pop Pyrus and Fruit Town Pyrus, as members joined him in solidarity for a peace walk through Compton. Hundreds of community members showed support alongside Compton natives like the game and Wadi the Sensei, who uh, pulled up to Gonzalez Park. This right here, Game said at the event while donating a red Gavinci tea. For me, this shit brings tears to my eyes, homie. To see this much red and shit, West Side bumped the nigga, every hood, every good, everybody good, ain't no bullshit, ain't nobody feeling no tension. This shit make a nigga happy. That's what it do for me. I don't know what it do for you. YG added, it's a good day. It's a good day in Bompton right now. It cannot be stressed enough that these are adults that are making choices for their own selves. I want to make sure I, I separate that, right? Because I think it's really easy to be like, oh, Kendrick inspired all of this. I don't know. These are adults that had to make a really challenging decision, probably for a lot of them, really challenging decision. Folks who have lost soldiers in this to say, I'm going to go and do this in the name of peace. These are adults who chose to do that. And I love to see it. We were just talking about last week, Malcolm Jamal Warner kind of making a point of things are going, you know, I don't like the direction things are going, but yet things like this are happening. And although it may not look like the NAACP awards, it may not be dressed up in suits and whatnot. Change is fucking happening right here. It starts here. It starts with the conversations. I'm not going to sit up here and believe that everybody that's over there like each other. But it starts with things like this and it didn't take somebody dying. 
metaphorically Drake, but it didn't take anybody dying. Yes, it was a, it was a, at first you could say that it was a beef that did that, but I don't think it's just a beef that did that. I think that there was people who already wanted it to happen. And now there's a ample opportunity to engage in that conversation. And I love it. 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 Shout out, first of all, to Kendrick. Shout out to YG. Shout out to the game. Because when you see those type of things happen, it, 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 of course, it means something for our communities. Of course, it means something for the kids who are seeing that and seeing that it's possible. Uh, of course, it means something for rival gangs that have the opportunity to now make, you know, if those who, who make music can make music together, they can trade. Just like any cultures, any rivaling cultures in any other other continent. Now we have the opportunity to trade amongst ourselves. Now we have the opportunity to, you know what I'm saying, figure out solutions for these neighborhoods or we just have the opportunity to make some music together and i love to see it with something like this going on man it, it's it, <laughs> i won't even say i hate that it took the song to make it happen because i don't think it was just the song that made it happen but i do feel like that was a huge catalyst towards these conversations being more and more at the forefront and then also too i could see a, an alternative universe where this happens without the drake in Kendrick's situation, and it doesn't get picked up or covered by mainstream media. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Somebody gonna have to tell the truth, and I'm gonna tell it. So-called journalists, you niggas make me sick. But DIYers, you love to see it. Those are my thoughts. You tell me what you think. DIYers. DIYers, if you enjoyed this content, make sure that you hit the like button and maybe even consider subscribing. Come on, man. Don't be greedy. Peace.